Hey guys, what's up? Anyways, um, as you read by the title, I'm going to be showing you, sharing with you a couple of my dreams that I've had. So, as you can see, I'm in a new environment. And you guys usually see I'm in Minnesota. I'm in Arizona right now. So, I'm not in Minnesota anymore. I'm still in the United States. Anyways, um, we, what we did is, I wanna get onto my, my weirdest dreams. Uh, no, I just wanted. Anyways, let's get on to do that. Anyways, my dream starts off with me and, I'm gonna use cover up names for the people. Um, the cover up names are going to be Picasso, Rainbow, and Sugar. So, we, so me and Rainbow were walking home one day. And if you do not know who Rainbow is, Rainbow's uh, my BFF, which if you don't know who my BFF is, my friends can tell you that. Anyways, me and Rainbow were walking home and I asked Rainbow, can you come over to my house today? She said, I'll ask my mom. So, by the way, it's in the middle of winter. So we're walking home in the snow and then I've never shared this detail with people, but the detail is somebody picks up a snowball and I just see the snowball coming, like the snowball starts coming towards my back, it hits my back and then next thing you know, sugar's at my house hiding from rainbow Next thing I know, me and Sugar and a random guy are jumping on thin air and Rainbow. Are you gonna try <laughs> Dad's being my fidget spinner. Okay, back guys. Anyways, why I said, oh, it's because my dad took, he was spinning my fidget spinner on my, his belt. It doesn't cut. From, it's oh. Sharp, sharp. Oh. Um, he did it from his middle finger. My fidget spinner was spinning from his middle finger to the table. Middle, table, middle, table. By the way, I want to bring up something that I thought. I don't know why, but. Last night, I didn't, have, this wasn't a dream, but have you guys ever seen the, the series Alvin and the Trick Bugs, the one where Theodore becomes Little T? Yeah, I literally just thought the words in my head, Little T doesn't need nothing, Little T does not need help, Little T gets stuff from itself. I just thought those words in my mind. From Theodore. <laughs> okay, Little T. Oh. Anyways, but the first dream happened, yeah, I told you where me and Rainbow were on the trampoline, and then, okay. So, we're just jumping, and Rainbow's staring at me with me and Sugar, and this random guy jumping on thin air, and then Picasso starts throwing um, dead rats at us. And by the way, it's not actually Picasso, it's this guy at school. I'm not gonna say his name. But we're gonna call him Picasso since I looked at a Picasso painting. Um, but that's the first dream. The second dream is, it's a nightmare, but I, I was five years old, so it's like, at five years old, so it's like this, dreams just like weird but when I was five years old I had a dream that I uh, um, 
I was in my town and the, the sky was red and there was flames everywhere and a dinosaur was attacking us. Attacking us. I also had a dream that a dinosaur was my pet. A T-Rex was my pet. And the T-Rex was the one that destroyed the town. I also had another dream which I don't want to get around this dream so much since this is what made me like totally terrified about scorpions, but then I ended up having another dream which solved that, which is a solution to my to my fear gone. But me, my dad was fighting with somebody and a scorpion was on my fingernail and a scorpion stung me and I was in the hospital and I woke up. So I assumed I died. Since never in your dreams you can die. You can die. By the way, for anybody listening, you can die in your dreams. It just, it's not that often though. But you can die. Like, you can die. <laughs> but, see, a YouTuber said, I, I don't remember the YouTuber's name, but a YouTuber said that she started having dreams where she like would jump off a building and actually hit the ground or she would you know how in dreams you would jump into the water and then your dream's over well she well she would when she jumped in the water she would actually drown so i assumed i died in my dream i didn't die in my dream but i assumed since my dream ended i assumed that i died the reason, I actually forgot about this nightmare, and then I watched a video which reminded me. But this dream actually so, solved that solution to the scorpions. So this dream comes up with that I, I was inside of my sister's house, and my dad came to pick me up, and a five, Six scorpions were surrounding us. And they looked all fierce towards my dad, but all nice towards me. And I ended up keeping them as pets, and then I got another scorpion as a pet. It solved the solution. I mean, I'm not scared of scorpions anymore. Um, I'm not afraid of scorpions. What? Who's on the table? Okay. Um, but... Actually, surprise fact, I might be actually staying out here forever. I might not be going back to where I live. Anyways, bye guys.